It is the first daily news and culture podcast. The big story tackles topics that are on the minds of Canadians by digging deeper into the critical headline of the day. And joining us now is the series host, Jordan Heath Rawlings. Jordan, thanks very much for joining us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. You're, you're doing this on a daily basis, getting this podcast out. What's it like trying to do that? I mean, is it, are you flying solo? Uh, no, we have a great team. We have our producer, Claire Broussard. We have a research assistant. We have a couple of editing assistants. So it's a, it's a team that puts it together. Um, what it's like doing it on a daily basis is really no different from uh, a newspaper, right? You're, you're sort of figuring out first thing in the morning, what are we talking about today? What's the story? And we're trying to find somebody who knows more about it than anyone else and get them in studio or uh, in the case of some of our correspondents, we have to get them on the phone. Uh, and we're really, what we're trying to do is go deeper than where the news will be by the end of the day. So that when you listen to us the next morning, you'll have more of a context around the story and you'll kind of be able to, to understand, you know, everything that's led up to where we are now. Because I think the news cycle moves so fast that, I mean, I can't keep up. You know, we sort of have to broaden the scope if we're really going to be effective. It is nice to take a, take a breath, essentially, right? And, yeah. And explore a little more of the subject we're talking about rather than boom, gone. Well, so many people, you know, quote, tweets, right? You, you yeah. see the headlines, you see the talking points, and that's what you hear when you're having conversations with people. But I think what, what we want to do is kind of arm you with a little bit more information, a little bit more context, so that when you get yourself into these conversations, you bring something to the table that other people don't have. Do you have is there a focus or is it just whatever kind of catches your eye that day? I mean, we want to be on the big story of the day. Yeah. We want to be on the conversations that Canadians are having. So there's always that. Um, and we're very mindful, you know, in the daily news podcast space, which has kind of exploded over the last little while. Yeah. There's a ton of American podcasts. You know, the Daily from the New York Times is a huge one. Vox Joe Rogan Explain. has a massive Joe Rogan has yeah. a massive podcast. Um, they're very American focused. And especially the news ones tend to hit back at, at Trump almost every single day yeah. because, and, and to be fair, that's their mandate. That's the biggest story in America right now. And we will cover those, but there's nothing out there like this for Canadians right now. And that's a hole that we thought we had to fill. Give us an idea of some of the topics like, and where you've gone with them. Sure. Um, this morning's, which you can get on Apple or wherever you get your podcasts right now, uh, we talked to a technology and politics expert from the University of Ottawa about the parody cabinet, which is something that took over Twitter for about the last week. It's mm -hmm. a, a whole host of accounts that claim to be parody accounts, but they look almost exactly like our federal ministers. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you're glancing and scrolling through Twitter, it's really hard to discern without kind of clicking through and doing your own research what's real and what's fake. And sort of she talks about this as an endemic problem and one that's only getting worse and how we have to, you know, educate, educate our citizens to be digitally literate and how these conversations, this is the thing that really uh, uh, threw me is how easily these conversations make their way off Twitter. You know, yeah. we kind of feel like, well, I'm not on there. I'm not, you know, having cat fights online all day. This stuff doesn't matter to me. But of course, the people who are talking to you about politics are the people that are doing that, right? So, so those topics are easily making their way into and the offline happening at conversation. Light, and, and a light speed, right? Didn't, right? They used to be, you know, it took a month to get it across the country, and now it's across the country in minutes, whether you want now whether you're on Twitter and if, or not. And if somebody with a huge following retweets one of these fake accounts without realizing that they're fake, all of a sudden you have thousands of tweets criticizing a federal minister for something they never said. And once that's out there, you can't rewind it, right? Yeah. What, are, what are some of the stories you're working on? Uh, yesterday we did, um, we talked to Justin Ling about the Bruce MacArthur case. He's the guy who's writing a book on it. He's been on it since before it was a murder case. Um, some of the other stuff we're working on and totally relevant to the audience here is uh, city planning and bikes versus cars and how it's not really the driver's fault. It's not really the cyclist's yeah. fault. It's the fault of the way the city was conceived and yeah. we have to change that. So, you know, we want to be touching on topics that Canadians are waking up thinking about and, you know, we can't plan too far ahead because we do have to be pretty reactive, but, you know, we're working on stuff like that. All right. And where can they find it? Uh, it is everywhere you get your podcast. So Apple, Google, uh, you can go to thebigstorypodcast.ca and there's links there so you can subscribe and sign up. It will take you to your favorite podcast application and you can go from there. Okay, beautiful. Jordan, thank you very much for joining us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. And for more details, go to the Big Story Podcast. You just said bigstorypodcast.ca.